Hello guys. So in this video, we'll watch a short clip from a movie called Ocean's 13. Ocean's 13 came out in 2007 and it is the last movie of the Ocean's trilogy. So a trilogy means that it is a series of three things. Other famous movie trilogies are, for example, the Back to the Future trilogy, Godfather trilogy, and the original Star Wars trilogy. Ocean's trilogy was directed by Steven Soderbergh, who is also the director for Contagion and this fantastic movie called Traffic. In the following scene, we'll watch a man trying to enter a restaurant without a reservation. Let's listen to the first bit. Hello. I'd like a table for one. I hear your risotto is tremendous. Hello. I'd like a table for one. I hear your risotto is tremendous. So he said, Hello, I'd like a table for one because he is by himself. He's not with anyone else. When we usually walk into a restaurant, which means you didn't book in advance, you didn't make a reservation, we say, Hello, I'd like a table for two, three, four, six, depending on how many people there are with you. You can also say, can I get a table for two? On the other hand, if you booked in advance, so you did make a reservation, you could just say, hello, I have a reservation. And they'll ask you what the reservation name is under. And then he said, I hear your risotto is tremendous. A risotto is an Italian dish made with rice and mixed with other ingredients such as cheese, vegetables, or meat. Tremendous, when talking about food, means that it is excellent or fabulous. He said, I hear your risotto is tremendous. So maybe he heard that the risotto in the restaurant is really good from his friends or maybe he read an online review saying that the risotto is really tasty. For example, you could say, I hear their steaks are tremendous to a friend when talking about a restaurant. Let's listen to what the host has to say. It is tremendous. The name on the reservation. I'm a walk-in. It is tremendous. The name on the reservation. I'm a walk-in. By the way, a host or a hostess is someone who greets customers at the restaurant. He said, it is tremendous. So he also knows and thinks that their risotto is amazing. And then he asked, the name on the reservation? Because it's a question, he raised his tone in the end of the sentence, the name on the reservation. Other phrases people usually say are, what's the name on the reservation? Or do you have a reservation? Which is a yes, no question. In this case, you would say, yes, I have a reservation, it's under Leo, or whatever name you made your reservation under. The man said, I'm a walk-in. So if you didn't make a reservation, you're a walk-in customer. So you can say, I'm a walk-in. Let's continue. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, I can't accommodate you. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, I can't accommodate you. And the host said, 
I'm sorry, sir. I can't accommodate you. I can't accommodate you is another way of saying that they can't serve you. They don't have enough space for you. Other phrases you might also hear are, I'm sorry, we're fully booked. Let's see what the man has to say. Those are reserved. Those are reserved. First of all, he looks around the restaurant and sees that there are a lot of empty tables. So when he is just about to ask, what about those tables, those empty tables? The host says, those are reserved. So he is saying there are people who are going to come and sit at those tables to eat. It is true that a lot of fancy restaurants like this one, fancy meaning expensive, fashionable restaurants, they're usually very busy. There are a lot of customers. They're very popular. So it's always good to make a reservation in advance. Uh, may I recommend one of our other restaurants? Ling Su, Cantonese inspired Sichuan cuisine. Great. Uh, may I recommend one of our other restaurants? Ling Su, Cantonese inspired Sichuan cuisine. Great. And because the host can accommodate the customer, he says, May I recommend one of our other restaurants? So he's asking the customer if he wants to try another restaurant in the hotel called Ling Su. Cantonese cuisine is the style of cooking from this area, southeastern China, Hong Kong, and Macau. Famous Cantonese food include dim sum and wonton noodles. Sichuan is an area in the southwest of China, and their dishes are usually very hot and spicy. Ling Su is a Cantonese-inspired Sichuan cuisine. So you can expect a little bit of both cuisine. That's all I've prepared for today. Please let me know in the comment section what you thought about this lesson and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. Hello. I'd like a table for one. I hear your risotto is tremendous. It is tremendous. The name on the reservation. I'm a walk in. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I can't accommodate you. Those are reserved. Uh, may I recommend one of our other restaurants? Ling Su, Cantonese-inspired Sichuan cuisine. Great.